Typhoon Higos made landfall in southern China on Wednesday, and I will be the first to admit this got stronger than I originally anticipated here. The big issue when all of this is the fact that it is moving into southern China, where there's already been some very serious flooding, especially across Sichuan province in southwestern China. And now with this extra moisture inflow, combining it with that stationary front to the north, just continuing to create some pretty serious flooding. But with that said, I am changing my attention now to our latest invest, not 90W located pretty much directly over the Philippines today. They in fact does have this as a area of low pressure at this time. I would not be surprised if Bagasa upgrades it to a tropical depression as well in the near future. Because of this pretty decent low level circulation we can actually see on ASCAD imagery and even infrared imagery you can kind of get a good idea of where that counterclockwise circulation is located pretty much just off the east coast of Luzon. Big issue for the Philippines and really the bad news this is going to continue to bring some pretty decent rainfall through the rest of the week as that moisture and convection assisted by the lift with this area of low pressure continues to pile onto you. The good news is that it is interacting with land here and it is going to slowly move towards north. So I would not expect a tropical storm or any means like that, but definitely some decent rainfall with localized flooding. Your question is, where is this going to go? That's what everybody really wants to know. And if we take a look at the overall background flow, this is the mean of winds from 850 to 500 millibars. You can see that there is this big old high pressure over Japan. Now this guy has been in place for some time, but it is going to drift a little bit towards the southeast over the coming days, allowing this trough to dig it in. What I believe is this guy to kind of pull north, maybe over Taiwan or a little bit close to Taiwan, and then out there towards Okinawa. Now I think the ECMWF model, the European guidance on everything I'm seeing right now, which is not a lot considering it hasn't really developed yet um is the best model though at the time this is the ecmw of tropical depression probability so basically not tracks but where it expects a tropical depression to form and it does continue to say yeah somewhere towards the east of the philippines but if we look at tropical storm towards the east of of Taiwan, the European model actually picking up on something. This here being the actual guidance from the European model showing our area of low pressure moving over the Philippines, continuing to bring plenty of rainfall. I wouldn't be surprised some areas get one to 200 millimeters, especially across uh, Cagayan Valley, uh, basically much of northern Luzon, and then eventually towards Taiwan and across the southern Japanese islands. Now, this would be interesting. Showing about 21Z on Sunday. So we're talking about 6, 7 p.m. with this area of low pressure passing just towards north. And if this particular situation would take place does that actually bring some pretty blustery conditions by sunday night especially for the southern portions of the island as you would get the right side of this area of low pressure now lots of variables as i mentioned because you don't look at just one particular weather model when you're looking at the forecast in the future because each model grabs a little bit from here, grabs a little bit from here, and they digest information just a little bit differently. So that's why I always say, hey, don't, whenever somebody just shows me one model and they go, what about this? It, it drives me insane because you got to look at more than that. So here's the GFS by Saturday evening, and then by Sunday, it's gone. But by Saturday evening, it actually pulls this area of low pressure, more of a shorter track towards the south of Okinawa instead of pulling it towards the north. I think this is the less likely situation, though, with the GFS because of our high pressure over northern Japan. But that outcome is on the table. It's there. The icon actually very similar, uh, about the same time frame here, showing bulk of the moisture moving south of Okinawa. But like I mentioned, it all has to do with our area of high pressure over here and our trough digging in out of China and how this is going to interact together. I do believe, like I said, that high is going to push us further towards the west. So probably some good rain across Taiwan. And then eventually when the trough finally comes through, it's going to pick it up and pull it towards the northeast. Ooh, I put a lot of lines on there. So uh, it's all about timing, how fast this develops, how far it gets towards the north, how far that high comes down. I think the European model, like I said, is handling it the best. But there is one caveat to that. Beyond the Sunday, Monday time frame, the Euro kind of stalls it out and blows that storm up just south of Kyushu. Uh, we're talking about 180, 200 hours out there. I think there's a lot of question marks beyond uh, this recurvature situation uh, after it impacts Taiwan and Okinawa possibly, uh, but up to about say 100, 110 hours, I do think there's confidence compared to the other models in that particular guidance. So.
Lots to watch out here. Number one concern right now, decent rains across the Philippines. Stay safe out there, guys. And as always, thanks for watching.